Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play City Skylines, the Snowfall Expansion. Oh, it's the moon! I love it, and I love the northern lights, and everything looks great with these trees here. And everything will look even better once we get some more building development. Although this is really nice so far here. Love the snow on the roofs, which is done um, procedurally. So, and the cars and everything like that. Everything just gets a layer of snow added if you're playing on the snow map. Which is cool! Oh, damn, that is not an intended pun. I'm terribly sorry. So right now we're still losing money because, of course, um, playing with all the all the milestones unlocked right from the start so that you have everything available does mean you have to put down all the services right away, which is very expensive. People are flowing to the city. There's currently a demand for um, a residential area, but we do have extra residential areas zoned uh, that haven't been populated yet. Uh, so we're just mostly just having to wait for people to move in, but you can see the houses continuously popping up and up and up, which is going to continue to increase our tax base, and hopefully uh, we'll get there before we run out completely. I should probably get some extra parks uh, set up over here because we are going to want a little bit more park coverage. And some of these places are still co uh, complaining that they don't have really good park coverage yet, so that's probably fine. Maybe this is a huge park, actually. There we go. I like that. And that will encourage more people to move in. The other thing that will encourage people to move in is if we can satisfy more of their needs. And right now, they have no access to high school or university, but I think that would be a little too expensive. Um, cargo. It's an interesting need, but specifically I was going to say they don't have um, access to transit, transportation over here. And that is a way that we could very quickly get a boost. Oh, we're running out of water. You can see here, sewage treatment is fine. Because this does produce a lot of sewage and does convert some of it into fresh drinkable water, but not enough. So we are going to have to go ahead and start pumping some water in. And I'm going to have it be in the same general vicinity. We're going to get you hooked up. And I think, yeah, we need a little bit of a power connection here. Because as is, the gap's a little too high. But that should fix our water problem. Indeed, power, we have a ridiculous amount. Um, in fact, I should probably turn off... I can, uh, yeah, disable these so we don't have to pay for them because we do have an oil power plant that we put down uh, because we needed a lot more power the wind was being inconsistent we'll get the wind going uh, again later on and probably some solar and all those things but for now we're going to be okay also looking forward to when we can get rid of these um these power lines at some point because i think they're ugly i don't like to have them around we'll always need some if we keep things split up like this but those will make sense these you know they're just sort of clipping our little uh area and actually, we could get rid of this run right now. Because that's still all interconnected. We've got more people coming in, which is great. Population is continuing to grow. Our uh, deficit is shrinking. Yes, should be. Now, we haven't passed any ordinance yet. And I think I'm okay with waiting. And people are just still generally moving into our town. God, those emergency vehicles are allowed, aren't they? We still have a lot of stuff zoned. I could zone some more, although the uh, needs are going down a bit at this point. But I think I'm comfortable with uh, going ahead and just zoning some more. Is there a park? Oh, there's a park there. Okay. It's very hard to see that one. I guess I could just box select at this point. Which might be the easier way to fill a lot of this in. We might get some bits we actually don't want to be residential. But so far, so good. Now, we've got probably an excess of residents now, but that's okay. Some people are still going in because it's still a half-decent neighborhood. Again, our tax base is improving. Population is continuing to grow. Industrial area is very slowly developing. It's got a lot of empty bits still, but it should come in. Now, here's another area that we don't really have a lot of coverage of things, um, and we could improve that and get these things to level up a little bit more. But for now, the population continues to grow. I don't want to over-design. I mean... Zoning is free, so that's fine, but if I start dropping down some more buildings over here, I think it would be a bit too early um, to do some of that. Now, we do have power lines going right into the middle here, which is a bit more than we want or need, and this should enable me to, because the power lines sort of get some little gaps in your zoning, and then we can fill that out just so that we get some proper buildings over here. 
Now, when the weather, when the temperature drops, we are going to need more power, but right now we do have a lot, so we're fine. We are using half of our current power right now from that thing, plus the incinerator, so it's actually, you know, it's hitting quite hard. The, the power that's being used for heating is pretty substantial, actually. My god. But the population continues to grow. We're having a hard time cracking that minus 4,000 income line, but it will get there. Now, we know for sure that the business enthusiast ones are usually pretty valuable. They usually tend to give you a fair amount of money. So we're at 3,800 now. You're paying more for each commerce building, but they make more money, therefore they pay you more in taxes, and it's usually a pretty simple win. Oh yeah, we can add studded tires. Studded tires will mean we'll get less of an impact on our speed. Ooh, and he slipped studs on the road. Or, no, on the streets. Um, which lowers, I think, some of your health requirements. Because um, right now, if there is any snow coverage, and we haven't gotten snow yet, Condition, everything is green. There we go. Now we got the two tabs. This is coverage. We don't have any coverage from plows. Uh, but the condition is good. We have no snow on there yet. What's the road maintenance looking like? Road maintenance is currently normal. You can boost it. Oh, I didn't realize that. So the road maintenance... So there's normal, but you can actually just make it better. It doesn't slow down your cars. It accelerates cars. I don't know if I'm concerned about that yet. It would obviously be nice, but I'm trying to avoid... Oh, we're almost breaking even. Excellent. I was trying to avoid um, a situation where we're overpaying, right? Especially if um, a sure way to boost our industry over here is to give them a little bit of health coverage. They'll be happy about that. I wonder if their, their police coverage is considered so low. They have a police station right in here somewhere. Right there. I don't know. Maybe just as more police cars go by, there could be something like that. Could be because there's no prison. But yeah, I bet you we could boost this area a fair bit if we build a hospital here. That being said, the town is still growing, and the last thing I want to do is add a bunch more of services that we have to worry about paying for. Complaining about not enough educated workers. So this place leveled up and now needs workers that are educated. We do have our elementary school, and sewage is being complained about. Sewage treatment is currently in, uh, insufficient as we continue to grow, so we're going to get another one of these... Um, now, they can overlap a little bit, and that looks kind of dumb, but just one little tick of overlap, it actually looks fine. Oh, you can't tell because of the tree. Because they sort of merge up. I don't know. It's usually fine, and I'm going to go with it. Okay, weather is improved, so our power situation should be better than it was, although we do have more people now. But out of curiosity, yeah, it did go up. It did go up anywhere, even though the, the weather improved. There we go. We're going to get you going there, which fixes our sewage problems, but not as much as you want. So you do end up using, having to build a lot of this. It's very expensive in terms of real estate to use these clarifiers, uh, but it is nice to not have poop water everywhere. I mean, you know, we can live with poop water. We can, you know, put poop water over here and just get the drinking water over here. It's all fine, but I don't like the look of it. At least for this town. I want this to be a pretty little quaint... That's a lot of industry for a pretty little quaint place, but for 2,000 people, that is a lot of industry going on here. Although, really, if you think about it, this could easily just represent one company, right? In the game here, each one of these is a slightly different industry and so on and so forth, but this could just be an industrial park that belongs to one business. There's just one business in town, they produce widgets or something like that, and all 2,000 people that live in town just work in this one sort of um, industry industrial campus. And that's actually very reasonable. <gasps> it is snowing now, so we are going to have to start worrying about snow removal. So let me go and get that up and running right now. So the snow dump over here. The snow dump, when it snows, and only when it snows, they will go ahead and... Uh, let's put it near the industry. I think that makes sense. And actually, if I do this, I'll be able to get rid of some of these um, power cables. Because it'll send the power across the way. Um, only when it snows, they will send out trucks to go and plow the road. If we take a look at the condition... Condition is slowly getting worse, so these guys should start to send out some snow plows to clear the roads. Um, and then they will dump the snow in here. And no snow plow isn't used yet, because I think it, wait, I think it waits until it gets red. I'm not sure. Um, and then we'll dump the snow here. This can get over full, but when it's not snowing, um, I guess it melts a bit. Even if it's below, still below zero, but I don't know, maybe it's getting shipped out of town. But unlike the garbage dumps, once it's full, it's not full forever. You, what you have to do is you have to make sure you've got enough of these snow dumps so that they can handle an entire, like, dumping of snow from the sky. 
um, and have time to like clear out and melt away before the next snowstorm. But once you achieve that sort of equilibrium, you're going to be fine. So we still don't have a high school yet. We are making some money. I'm very tempted, I think, to go ahead and put down the high school at this point because it will give us even more educated people, which is really good. It'll also encourage more people to come to town. I'm going to put it over here because it's going to have great reach over there. And I fully expect we're going to develop a little bit more of a residential area in here. And then it'll be nice and centralized. So we should get a little bit more edumacation. I think that works out splendidly if we if we do that. That will most likely be the next expansion. We're currently looking for more residential and for more commercial, which is exactly what we'd be expanding. Industrial is still fine. In fact, I think there's still a lot of industrial zoning that hasn't been taken yet. Partially because we haven't gone and given it a lot of love. One of the things that would give it a boost pretty quickly is getting the public transit up and running. Um, so we should look into doing that soon. Will that connect? Yeah, it still connects. Let me just make sure that the zoning over here, yeah, there's a couple of missing bits. Uh, I don't want you to zone on this side yet. We're going to get back to you. How's the power situation? Okay, getting tight. We're going to need some more soon. I'll go and turn these on. I don't know what, you know, they're going to be doing at this point. Because the optimal wind spots are mis are moving. And with weather like this, I think that it would be, it would feel dumb to do solar power. Right? Wouldn't you agree? That solar power would feel kind of inappropriate when it's snowing all the time and it's cloudy and it's miserable. It's not the sort of place you want that. Wow, as you move the camera around, the uh, snow effects do go kind of crazy. Although I guess it makes sense. We are actually moving a big distance. Oh, love these trucks when they're covered and stuff. You get an oil delivery, so you make sure you've got plenty of oil over here. So you are not enough workers in general. Yeah, fair enough. Not even enough uneducated workers or anything. And our money did go down here. Oh, probably when we put down the university. A lot of demand for residential. So we're going to go ahead and extend this road here. And we're going to start a bit of a new neighborhood. Um, I think I'm going to do a 90 degree turn here. But I want to, again, I want to avoid just filling everything up like crazy. curvy one and we're going to come in right over here there we go which will give people another way to get to work over here um but mostly encouraging local traffic by having these bent roads people over here should still exit in this area or come home through this area as opposed to over here i think i hope now there's still plenty of stuff already we could zone we could go with a little bit more of a high density area too but i don't know i'm, I'm looking to avoid that for now i like the low density stuff it doesn't mean we're going to need a lot more roads which is problematic when we also have to pay to clear the roads of course but i'm okay with it and we still don't have our transit we'll get the transit pretty soon just i, I mean well we want to get those trams right and this would be a lovely area to get the trams up and running um I don't want too many things being straight. But I don't want things to look completely random either. Do I want to extend this? No, I don't. But I do want to make sure that we're, our intersections aren't too close together. I think what's going to happen is something like this. Let me pre-place... bit of a something like this and switch to a straight road tool I'm gonna come off that way and over here and then back to the bendy one now it does kind of annoy me that the street lights are different colors here we've got white lights or almost bluish white and here we've got the yellow street lights there's probably a mod that makes them all be the same it is an odd decision. I, I don't know why it's like that. Let me get rid of this. And take the angle build tool. And we're going to go out one, two, maybe even three. I think three ticks. Two, three. And maybe just two.
Oh yeah, I have to click first. Do I want to come in here and make a junction? I think I do, actually. Four-way intersection there. So we get a bit of a curly queue. There's some overlap over here, which is actually uh, hurting the res uh, the commercial stuff that could have been built there. Hmm. Oh, well. And we will have to upgrade a lot of this stuff to tram tracks later on depending on where we want the trams to be running. And obviously we want trams, because it's a new feature! There we are. Plus neighborhood over there. We could fit in a little bit more here. And I don't want to overly cramp things. And does that just look like a random little... Did I just bulldoze over here? No, it's just the sound of going to the bulldoze tool. I don't really... I'm not really loving this. I don't know. We might come back to that. So let's go ahead and... Do we want a little bit of high-density residential? Maybe right along here. There we go. Just, just a bit. And then we'll get some more commercial over here for some local shopping options. Maybe a little corner store over here. And then the rest I'm just going to fill in with low density residential. I'll have to clear some of that because it's going to be partially where I don't want it to be. Because I don't want, if I can avoid it, anything on this road at this time. Because that will just generate some really awkward traffic right along here that's hard to get to. Yeah, I'm not... Uh, I don't like it. I know, I don't usually build for aesthetics. But in this case, I'm really unhappy with that. I think what might be slightly more happy-making for me... ...would be something a little bit more like this. That's not what I meant. There we go. And that means these commercial shops will be fine once again. And yeah, I think I'm actually happier with the squarer look over here. Do this. And do that. Leaves a nice gap for some green space. Um... Yeah, I like that a lot better. I don't know why! I think that's one of my issues with, like, you know, why a lot of my cities aren't particularly attractive, is because I don't know what makes me happy. Just sometimes I'm like, oh, I like this. I don't know why, I can't reproduce it. But for some reason I find that slightly more appealing. Except for the fact that the lights don't match! Why are you yellow when everything else is, like, white like this? Urgh. Stupid lights. Okay, right, let's get some water going. I don't want to overextend this area too much. Because we actually, there's a good chance we're going to have to build some more um, public services over here. Because it probably doesn't have coverage uh, from police and fire. Because I'm not using the big police and fire. And a lot of times I don't because I kind of like to have just sort of more local ones. Uh, power should reach. There should be ways for it to hop. Also, we can still put down parks and things. Uh, it will definitely need its own um, elementary school over here. quite reach the tips unless I put it a little further over here which I guess is fine to do because we're gonna need another one over at this end regardless so that's gonna be fine um, healthcare yeah it doesn't reach here this has got a bit more range so if we do this we should be okay and we'll need a death care relatively soon but we don't have enough money right now and in fact we're going negative I think it'll bounce back really fast how can we have power over here oh because all these things have popped in already oh lovely and that does mean I can get rid of these ugly power lines. 
Can I change my zoning? Oh, um... You go away. There we are. I'd rather these zones here be bigger, right? It's almost like... I want... So with the highways, highways don't create the zoning tiles. I want... And I, there's probably a mod that adds more roads. I know there's mods that adds a bunch more road types. Because what I want is like a six-lane avenue like this. Works exactly the same, but does not generate the zoning tiles. Therefore, this would get full zoning tiles. And here they're complaining about snow. Um, we do have the one snow removal. That might be a bit far at this point. I think we'll need another one. If nothing else, we need to worry about removing things in time. That's the snow dump. Luckily, it's relatively cheap. Also, the maintenance is really low. Well, everything is green. This guy might be able to do everything. There just might be a delay. I think I will go and build another one. Right over here. Okay, that is more money. But we're almost running a positive again, so that's going to be good. You don't have electricity. You need electricity? Maybe that's how they melt the snow. <laughs> Speaking of electricity, how are we doing? Okay, we're very close to running out. Now... We could just build extra power, for sure, um, but the other thing we could do is we could set up our geothermal energy, um, which is very expensive. So to get a boiler station, or the geothermal heating station, um, both of which require a lot of money up front. So they're about the same money to build, 55000 versus 60000 Upkeep on the geothermal heating plant is lower. I believe it needs a lot less electricity as well. Still needs a fair amount. It needs half the electricity, but it only produces um, two-thirds of the amount of heating. So I don't know. We would probably save a lot of electricity by putting in a boiler station. In particular, I think that one of the boiler stations or geothermals will actually be able to satisfy the need for quite a large city. We do have to use the upgraded pipes, though. Look at the snow over here, just piled up in the streets. But that's all right. Uh, cars move slower on there. I don't know if we can see one. There we go. Certainly slower. Yeah, compare the clip between these two. But it's not apocalyptically bad. How are you doing full? Oh, you're only 10% full. So yeah, our snow dumps are more than able to, uh, to hold on to all the snow at this, time, at this point. Um, it's just a question of getting the trucks out everywhere. And they'll get there. We have a fair amount of roads, because all these things have to be cleared. Hey, a plane. Where was it? I saw it, and it's gone. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize... It has to do something with the zoom level. Like, it feels like the plane moves in a very odd way as I pan around, but it, I guess it's, I'm not estimating its height correctly. The fire services should mostly be fine. We will need some down here soon. Although, I think I'm going to want a death care station first. With low-density housing, it's we definitely will need less than before, although we still want the coverage map, uh, because that satisfies the houses and increases the chance that they will upgrade. There's some higher-density stuff over here, too, so that'll be okay. We need to really give them more education to keep leveling up these houses here, and we will work on that. I mean, we've got to get people their first level of education first before they can go on to high school, but... Actually, we do have a high school. What am I talking about? Yeah, we got one right over there, and it's still covering everything, so that's fine. So I think we're just having to wait for everyone to get through their schooling. A bit of a demand for commercial. Well, we've got the high density here, slowly filling up, although one thing I can definitely do is, again, get a few local shops over here. You know, it just feels good. People don't have to go quite as far little corner store, that's all. Just zone, they'll pop in, they won't have electricity. So they'll start to complain about that right away. But, these houses should continue to fill in. We're still getting a ton of people in. I don't remember what rate this is. Oh, weekly change, there we go. And going up quite aggressively as well. Uh, oh, you don't have any water coverage. And sewage is starting to flip out as well. Trying to expand this out of the right angle here, there we go. There's your water. Uh, oh, it's probably just lack of electricity in general. Um, what are we going to do for that? 
We could do some energy conservation, just because we don't have enough money for any new power right now. Um, let's put in a power usage thing. Yeah, we're still short. And that's going to ruin everything. Do we have any good wind spots right now? I guess 8 megawatts. Which is almost there, although we also have to run some power cables. Now, we will get the one bailout if we happen to go too far negative, which is looking like what's going to happen here. Luckily, people are still moving in for now. Although our money's going down and down and down, because I think their financial situation sucks, so they're paying us less taxes. Fewer taxes. Less in tax. I don't know. One of those things. Yeah, we're negative. We should get a bailout here. You get the $150,000 bailout. Oh, electricity is good, though. It is legitimately a little low on sewage treatment, so we will want to put down another one of these bad boys. How much do they cost? Oh, they're only $3,500. I could take out an actual loan. I'm just hoping for the bailout to trigger. And I think it will. The bailout is free, so I'm just I'm just holding out for now. Just crossing my fingers. Come on, give me my bailout. I might have to go below a certain point. I'm losing money, but the population is still going up. Oh, there we go. The money situation is starting to bounce back now. Because things aren't quite so miserable anymore. Garbage is being picked up. We only have one thing collecting garbage right now. Uh, and it's quite far from my residential area, but the problem is... Oh, I can put it in a recycling center. They're quite expensive. Alright, let's take out a loan. We'll take out the loan with the, uh, the smallest interest. Because we do need to make sure that the sewage is being handled. And if the weather wasn't quite so cold, we wouldn't use quite so much electricity. That's the problem. It's freezing right now. And right now, everyone's having to turn their heaters up really high, which is eating a lot of electricity. How much are you producing right now? Four. Ugh. Yeah, just not windy enough over here. Oh, got some extra bits. Population is growing, so that is a higher tax base. And assuming their needs are being met, then they'll actually pay taxes. Should have waited for that bailout. Right, let's try a little bit more wind power over here. At least we're getting seven, which isn't the worst. Hopefully it sticks around. Oh, and then I don't have enough money. Temperature is improving. So the consumption is indeed going down. Oh, up, down, up, down. Eh, we'll get there. If we have to take a huge loan out, it's not the end of the world. The garbage collection is definitely a problem, though. We will have to do something about that, and I would love to build a recycling plant. So a recycling plant basically works... Is there a smaller one? Yeah. Basically works like the incinerator, um, except it doesn't generate electricity, but it also doesn't pollute. There's noise pollution, but other than that, it is 100% clean. So it's a great thing to put sort of um, near your city center, near places that won't be bothered by the noise pollution, for example. Hey, we're making money, and the population continues to grow. So garbage and power still an issue. But if we just wait, those will get resolved. Well, this seems like a good place to put in a wee bit of a cut. Uh, I might even just let the game run a little bit right now without doing much to it, just to accumulate a little bit of money and keep our population growing, which is all very good. Thank you very much for watching another episode, folks, and I'll see you next time.